the pound USD. The pound USD sadly did not really move as I expected. I was hoping for another reversal right on this resistance level. However, we can see that the pair has uh, broken out from this resistance. Uh, but looking here at the left, we can see that we had another resistance level and the pair has reversed exactly on that resistance and we can see that there was a strong rejection here and the pair just continued to fall more down so in my opinion uh, the pound usd is getting weaker and seems like the pair is gonna fall down this week um going to the weekly candles we can see that right now we are on a very strong resi uh, resistance zone and the pair has made so many attempts over the last few months to break out from that level uh, not even months years so every time the pair is making attempt to break out from this resistance it's just fail and it just make a, a strong drop on the price not to mention that we had here a very strong rejection also the pair could not bear to to continue breaking out from this resistance so going to the daily candles we can see that rejection right here we see that long spike indicating a pressure from the sellers uh, the bears are controlling the market and seems like the, fall, the, the pair is gonna continue falling this week so now it's a matter of where should we start shorting the pound USD now going to the 4 hour chart we can see that right here we are having a strong support level right here like that and of course guys I'm looking at this support right here and this one here as well and that these two support levels have kept their position as a support because we can see right here we're having a support number one and most likely the pair is gonna make a pullback after reversing on a support number two so in my opinion there will be a reversal there will be a pullback the pair might f f uh, go up here and we are having right here a resistance level and in my opinion that is the next or sorry the best level where we can start actually shorting the pound USD uh, because we can see that here we are having a bearish breakout candle and after this bearish breakout candle the pair is going to respect the resistance level on the left therefore let me just uh, make it uh, accurate as much as possible like that if I'm not mistaken it's like that let's just go to the left and see if there was a strong resistance level oh one second let's just go to the left and see if we had any good strong resistance level that we can rely on so we can see right here we had a, this uh, good resistance level also these resistance attempts on the very same level here and we can see that we had a support and a resistance right here as well fantastic so that level isn't even here it was as strong as a support uh, indicating that this level is as strong as a resistance and a support we can see that most of the times once the candles or the market touch this level it make a st makes a strong bouncing look at that it just touched this level here and make a strong reversal even right here as a support it just barely touched this level and then make a strong reversal that's how you know if this level is strong or not you need to find the key support and resistance levels check this out that was a strong key support and this one here as well therefore this is a strong level and we can rely on it let me just go back to the recent time and uh, this is my advice for you my friends just wait for the pullback and we already have a resistance number one so what we are waiting for is to the resistance number two to occur as I said we are relying on this support level right here wait for the pullback creating of, of uh, a resistance number two and then start shorting the pound USD and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this uh, support level right here therefore our signal this week for the pound USD is gonna be for the short uh, sell on 1.31018 uh, 3.1018 correct and you can set your take profit level on this support here uh, which is which is going to give you about hopefully we're going to get them all 182 pips of profit hopefully we will get them all so take profit level is 1.29199 so that is my analysis this week for the you for the, for the pound usd hopefully it's going to be accurate and 
I will try my best to update you my friends on my Facebook if there will be any changes on this signal depending on the Monday opening so uh, I hope this is gonna be good week for everyone and I would like to thank you for watching